How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and today we are here with Nick Roche. He's the global product line manager at Adidas and today we are going to be talking about one of the most hyped up spikes in 2021. We are looking at the new Adidas Avanti. Now Nick, track spikes are just the hot topic right now. We're really coming into a revolution where you know new compounds, carbon plates are all getting implemented to create a very unique ride that's going to offer performance benefits on race day. Nick, can you tell us a little bit more about the inspiration behind the Avanti and kind of what went into building one of Adidas' fastest distance bikes to date? Absolutely. So the, the inspiration for the new Avanti track bike was all of the success around the Adios Pro 1 that we saw last year and our testing phases of the Adios Pro 2 that, that is ultimately about to launch here as well. And, and we wanted to offer the athletes something that has a similar experience to that and take our knowledge that we've gained from working with the athletes, with the consumers and take that onto the track in the 5K and the 10K. Perfect. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the shoe. I know a lot goes into it. And as you said, it does have inspiration from some of your other racing shoes. Can you tell us about the midsole and what compound is being used in the spike? So we have a Light Strike Pro midsole. It is a rim and core construction, Connor. So we've got it's both the same compounds, but we have sandwiched in energy rods that have been tuned for the 5K and the 10K. Perfect. So that should offer a very responsive ride, very, uh, very highly efficient experience. Can you talk a little bit more about the rods and how they're going to be similar to the Audios, but also what is going to be tuned uh, specifically for the track? Exactly. So first and foremost, it's a much lower stack versus the Audios Pro and the Audios Pro 2. So what that does is it uh, does not allow for such a large uh, drop from the heel to, to the forefoot with, with the rods and within the foam. So we have a flatter construction rods, but with that we have glass fiber rods. So they're definitely not as stiff as the Audios Pro line, but we don't need that on the track, knowing that we have a very soft surface on the track itself compared with a, a soft foam here. So we just wanted to, the goal here with these energy rods was to provide enough stiffness for the 5K and 10K without providing such a stiff ride and, and feel and experience. Cause we know that's you know a, a lot of laps on the track, especially when you're getting into rounds and whatnot at, at the highest level. So we wanted to create a, a good experience for that athlete. Now you talk about some of the differences being on the track, track being a little bit softer, and then also just the stack height being a little bit lower. Are you still using the same durometer in Light Strike Pro? And how is that gonna be different from a on-step experience than maybe a, uh, a little bit more of a overstacked shoe like an Adios? Exactly, so the reason we're allowed to go with the lower stack is because we're, one of the variables is the track surface ex itself. So being softer versus you know a concrete or an asphalt or a pavement outside and on a road racing circuit, uh, you have to offset a much harder surface. So here, without having as much hard, of, uh, a hard enough surface, we're allowed to go a little bit smaller here because we don't have to protect the legs as much. So we've got the same Light Strike Pro compound as you'll see on the Marathon shoes, but we brought it into the track, as I said. Now, when we talk about plates and energy rods, that's one aspect, but let's move on down to the outsole and talk about the actual spike plate. Can you tell us a little bit about the spike layout and what went into uh, developing uh, this spike plate? Absolutely. So we wanted to look at actual feedback from the athletes, Connor. And you, you'll talk to the team here in a, in a minute here, a minute or so, but we took the exact data, the exact spike layout that our, that our athletes have been telling the team they, they know and love and they perform best with and implemented onto this. The differences versus the more traditional Adidas track spikes here is we've gone with a shark skin plate here but what that is is it allows us to bring in the spike actual housing closer to the foot and allow for a, a more traction story here but we don't have as stiff of a, of a spike plate here because we've allowed ourselves a very stiff energy rod construction so it's still an incredibly stiff spike for 5k and 10k but we've just looked at how we wanted to set a spike plate in the tread pattern now we see a lot of innovation with the spike plates, the foams, but let's move on up to the upper. What's gonna be uh, unique about it, but what's also gonna kind of be that, that kind of dialed in fit that we've seen in past Adidas track spikes. Can you tell us a little bit more about the upper? 
So the big innovation story, the, the upper tech that we have here is our sling launch heel construction. Again, we talk about on the Adios Pro line, the outsole taking inspiration from rock climbing shoes. Connor, that's what we've done here with this. So how we last and construct the upper, this is really symbolic and taking direct inspiration from that lockdown feel that you'll get on a rock climbing shoe. So that locks in your heel completely. As we know, you know, track races can be a little physical. We want our athletes spikes to stay on their feet there, but into the upper and the upper construction as well. We have a classic Adidas upper mesh for extreme breathability and fit in a lightweight feel. And then a classic tongue construction to allow for just ease and comfort over these longer track races. Perfect. Well, Nick, it sounds like every part of this shoe from top to bottom has been well thought out for efficiency and weight savings. Now, the most important part is, what is this shoe gonna be aimed for? I know it's more of a distance spike, but what distances do you see athletes wearing this shoe in? The development and the creation of the Avanti track spike has been done for the 5,000 and 10,000 meters on, on the track. We know some athletes might you know, wanna wear them in the 3,000 meter steeplechase if they want, which is why we've got a shark skin traction pattern there, but it's all of the insights have been tossed in for the 5K and the 10K. Perfect. Well, Nick, I'm extremely excited to get this spike on my feet. As a 5K, 10K runner, I think it's going to offer some pretty amazing performance benefits, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it feels on foot.